What's going guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Exos Heroes, I'm going to tell you guys the various methods of summoning in this game. Yes, using Cess is not the only way. There are various other ways on how you can get even faded hero units or other hero units like legendary or magical right out there, which you would really want to have in your team. So don't be dismayed if you sort of like ran out of Cess and you start to think like, oh my god, I cannot summon anymore and this is the end no it's not the end there are various methods in this game which will really allow you to get fated heroes legendary heroes or maybe magical heroes whatever that is uh as long as you have other event currencies or in-game currencies so i'm going to tell you guys about all of those kind of things in this video today so let's get started first of all is obviously going to be the old-fashioned way the recruit where you are going to use the sets in order to do a lot of summons now let me guide you through this one. Uh, one of the most popular banner that you would really want to pull is going to be the Fate Core Chance Increase. This is the banner that pretty much improves the rate at which the indicated hero is going to drop whenever you land a Fated hero unit. And for this hero unit that is going to be FC Anastasia, she has about 0.7% chance to drop. Yes, that's a lot of chance, right, isn't it? So please do keep that in mind, that's really really great indeed and this is one of the most popular right out there because even if you manage to get like the dupe of the same Fate Core unit, you can pretty much fuse them in order to make your original Fate Core hero unit much stronger. Yes, through fusion you can attain more stat boost and more power. So please do keep that in mind. The next banner is obviously going to be the premium recruitment banner, which I really don't think is that popular. <laughs> People would really love to invest their sets in Fate Core Chance Increase banner much more than compared to the premium recruitment, which is like, okay, you know, like in this banner, for all the heroes, it's pretty much the same chance. So it's like, okay, <laughs> uh, it's pretty much random, all right? But people would really love to spam on the Fate Core Chance Increase banner. Especially if the hero units are really awesome, like FCJ on, okay, and you would really love to fuse them. And the next banner that uh, people would really love to spam on is gonna be the String of Creation Ray, SOC in shortcut. This banner really allows you to select between various types of banner right out there, which is obviously going to guarantee you the heroes that is pretty much displayed right over here. Yes, you heard me right, they are pretty much guaranteed. But the thing is that like you have to keep on doing summons over summons over summons and according to my one of the information uh this banner heroes will be depleted after 50 multi summons and that is going to cost you 35,000 cents okay so uh i mean like it's a hopeful banner but it might pretty much lead you to disappointed very soon as well because there are so many players out there who are pretty much complaining about this banner as well uh, because they have been really spending a lot of sets and in the end they are, they were not really that lucky to get uh, the main fate core hero unit like let's say this is the Rudley banner right and to get the FC Rudley right up the bat so that's the thing right over there or let's say uh, if you are trying to pull the FC racial then uh, if you do not get the FC racial within the first 10 or 20 multis it can be very very saddening <laughs> okay it can be really really disappointing guys and it can pretty much trigger a lot of anger right so that's that guys and right now i'm in my uh soc banner uh for the uh fc rudley right over here because i was already done with my fc battery i was really able to get her within the second multi yes i got a little bit uh, lucky on that part but anyways don't worry about the soc that much because it's not going to run away anytime soon it's always going to be stick out there unless there's another update that's just going to reset everything out there but i really don't think that uh, the next update is going to come really that soon to you know like pretty much impacting this string of creation ray so that's what i really have to say to you guys all right so first uh, or let's say the most popular banner right over here in the premium summon banner is obviously going to be the fate core chance increase the second is going to be the string of creation ray uh, the third being the premium recruitment and this free recruit you can do it every day or let's say like every eight hours okay it has a recharge time of like eight hours so that means like every day you will be able to make up to three summons okay so please try to take a total advantage of this one as soon as you log in try to uh, free to quit right away and later after like eight hours you will be able to do another free to quit right off the bat as well and wish you best of luck to get the faded heroes out of this banner so that's the uh insight that i have regarding this recruit banner 
And what's going to be the another way to uh, get the faded hero units or the heroes that you are pretty much targeting, all right? So that's going to be the door to creation, okay? Door to creation is one of the really amazing feature in this game that's going to really allow you to get even faded heroes if you are pretty much lucky thanks to all the other in-game, uh, you know, like currencies or in-game items that's going to make it possible. First, in this door to creation, let's talk about the Exodium Recruit hero unit right over here guys it says that you will be required 10 exodiums for one summon yeah and you can click on the expected reward and you can see right over here from this list that every possible hero uh, is available for the summons except for the fate core units i guess <laughs> i'm not pretty sure that like fate core units can be dropped uh, through this banner but the normal hero units like battery anastasia a garf okay any kind of hero unit that uh, is out there are pretty much right over here except for the fc units so i'm pretty happy about this one as well if you are pretty much lucky in here you will be able to get them no problem at all through the exodium summons and this is going to be one of the best way to summon right out here in this game why because it's so easy to get them all you need to do is go into the world map okay let's go into the world map and in the world map you will be able to see or find or seek exodiums in the forest yes forest so be careful or be observant about your exploration map and you will be able to get them okay so right over here i'm in the exploration map right so where can i get the exodium look at here guys look at this icon right over here see 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 yeah that's where the exodium really is and all i need to do is just point my cruiser I'm mean, like cursor, <laughs> sorry about that, my cursor to that part, to that forest. And let's try to get that exodium. So right over here, all you need to do is go inside the forest and just try to venture out inside the forest for a while. And it's going to be quite easy for you guys to get an exodium. So right over here, the exodium can vary from 40 exodiums to 80 exodiums per exploration okay so that's that and it pretty much keeps on popping up like every now and then every day so please try to check out your exploration map every time every freaking time okay and that's gonna be it that's gonna be uh how you are going to be able to get the exodiums in this game all right and the next uh way to summon in this game is obviously going to be the golden clock okay now where to get the golden clock can you see this bastard right over here you know it's very hard to beat him right this gold grave robber garrot yes it's very hard to beat him but once you beat him uh you will be able to get a golden clock from him a golden clock equals to one premium summon yes and through that premium summon you will also be able to get faded heroes yes you heard me right and i pretty much posted a um, tutorial regarding this guy on like how to beat this guy and how to get that golden clock all right so that's that anyways let's get back into the airship and i'm going to do some exodium summons okay just to make it sure that i might be a little bit you know lucky today <laughs> okay let's do it guys let's do it and there are still various other ways to summon as well but those are pretty much the premium ways to uh get very amazing units in this game like faded hero units as well so let's go into the door to creation let's do it okay right over there right over there i think i'm pretty much feeling quite lucky today so let's see let's see let's see guys i obviously i will be doing this uh recruitment as well uh a little bit later no problem at all i've got some sass so let's try to do some exodium recruitment in right over here guys uh you can do as much as recruitment right away as soon as possible at the same time okay at the same time you don't have to do it like one after one after another okay so that's that so let's do it right over there 28 summons at the same time 28 summons at the same time it's like what it's a super multi summon right over there so let's craft it because i've got a lot of exodiums okay and let's do it guys let's do it so there we go there we go come on come on please my luck shine on me today oh well oh well and at least i got a legendary unit right over here i think he's good sefer okay he's cool he's cool uh critical hit by oh yeah he's cool actually it's really cool he's a debuffer okay that's great how about the other units do i have another legendary unit uh i really don't think so okay that's that <laughs> oh well exodium not really that great not really that great and next uh, thing is going to be 
this uh, gathered summon dimensional recruit uh, don't worry about this grayed out uh, banner right now because as soon as you get this item it's going to light out and you will be able to do it no problem at all it doesn't mean that like it's unlocked <laughs> it just means that like you don't have any necessary uh, item in order to do this summon and this is the golden clock that I was pretty much talking about a little while ago that you can snatch or win it from the Garrot and it's gonna be a little bit hard to win over the Garrot but it's not impossible at all as well so you can pretty much check out my guide against the you know like to how to fight against the Garrot okay so that's that and the next thing is obviously going to be this thing called solar seal okay solar seal pretty much uh, will allow you to do some selected summon yes in this section uh, the hero units that you can get are pretty much limited just look at the uh, faded heroes right over here I can only get Rachel, Rudley, Ulum, uh, I think it's Valar <laughs> okay so that's uh, that's the thing right over here I can only get this kind of hero units right off the bat at this moment so this is pretty much a selective type of summon and if you uh, manage to get a faded hero unit uh, it's pretty much guaranteed to be only from this uh, you know like this section okay so it's pretty great as well to do some solar seal summons now the question is where to get the solar seal and now let me tell you guys on how you can get the solar seals right solar seal seems to be quite really good uh, item indeed right just go into the dispatch mission right over here and go into the exploration yes this is the place where you will be getting a lot of solar seals yes there are various other methods as well in this game where you can get the solar seals from but exploration is going to be one of the primary ways for you guys to get this uh this solar seal right of the bat okay so yes yes why not let's let's get it okay there we go 16 solar seal all right and send all to the uh you know like the exploration and your heroes will be deployed and they will be bringing back the solar seal after a certain period of time has been passed okay so that's that guys uh you will be able to gain solar seal like through those kind of ways and there are various other contests as well through which you can get the solar seal and you will be able to do that selective summon and now let's move on to the final type of summoning that's gonna be the feather of freedom recruitment this is a very good type of way to get a lot of hero units just like that but uh, to our disappointment we cannot get faded heroes through this way okay this is gonna be like the event type of summonings you will be able to get this uh, feather of freedom through the exploration map just try to do the exploration especially uh, you know like smart exploration those kind of things and you will be getting a lot of feather of freedom <laughs> all right and that's that uh, so uh, let's try to do a lot of summons right away uh, yes and it's also a uh, like it's also really possible to do super multi summon right over here it's not limited just to 10 summons or like one summon or two summon three summon at a time uh, as long as you have like a lot of feathers of freedom you'll be able to do exactly the same amount of summon right away without any problem at all so let's craft why not let's do it okay let's do it this is one of the best way to get the you know like the the, the fodder units right <laughs> wow that's that well I I actually didn't manage to get even a legendary unit through that way but anyways those are the most basic ways to get your heroes summoned in this game all right and those are those uh, those are the damn good ways and now let's get let's get back into the recruitment and let's try to use some of my says on this fate core chance increase banner because I really need F FC Anastasia okay so let's do it why not okay let's do it let's do it guys Ah, uh, man. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see how my luck is really going on today. Uh, well, in Exodiums, my luck was not really that shining, right? So let's see if my luck actually shines in this corner right over here. That's going to be the FC banner of the Anastasia. And damn, oh damn, my PC is really damn slow. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Really, really sorry about that. But anyways, so let's do it. Let's get this done, guys. Anyways, I have this waifu in my team. She's a legendary character, uh, for standard unit. Uh, I hope she could have been like a five standard unit, but she is not so. But anyways, the animation of this summonings in this game just makes me really happy all the time. I can watch this all day long. Just look at that. The ninjas are here, guys. The ninjas are here. Okay, move aside, brother. Move aside. What the hell? Jesus, no. That was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> two star unit two star unit okay it's a three star net unit okay all right graphics so i really don't think that it's kind of like uh you know 
how to say, compatible, okay? Anyways, it's going to move aside. Ah! ah! This is such a dry summon, guys. Wow, wow, wow. I, 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 I didn't even get a Fate Hero unit. Nothing at all. This is so, this is too sad. Only one legendary unit. Is that it? Is that it? Oh my god. Wow, this really does make me so sad. I mean, like, I really want to do my videos through Nox, or let's say through Mami, or let's say through my laptop, so that, like, I don't know, there's a lot of management going on around. I can use my webcam and so many things. But the way that how the game is really getting so slow, it just makes me so sad. <gasps> what the hell? How is that possible? I thought it was not possible. Okay. Hey. Yo, Sabrina, right? Yeah. All right. She can deal some really good damage, guys. She can really do some pretty good damage. I like her nuking damage with the third skill. She can really do some really cool stuff, guys. I mean, like, she can counter... And gain mana if the target dies, gain mana if health uh, of the target is at 70% or more, that's going to be so cool as well. Wow, that's cool. That's really great. And she can deal 300% damage to one enemy with a first, uh, first uh, skill. And guess what, guys? It only requires one mana. That means like she can pretty much spam a fast skill over and over and over again. Wow. How about her second skill? Deals 178% of damage to all enemies and it's a burst damage which only requires three mana. I cannot actually kind of lay my finger on this part, like, how is she managing to get really a lot of damage in the PvP contents? Like, it's not really that a lot. 300% damage and she's dealing, like, a lot of damage? Alright, whatever that is. But anyways, I really love to have her. Not really that super duper impressive unit though, in my opinion, okay? Like, okay, she's cool. <laughs> Alright, that's that. Can I actually get another fate? Another fate hero unit. Can I can I get it? <laughs> oh man. I didn't expect that. Because like I thought, if you when you skip the video, right? And then you manage to get just one uh, legendary hero unit, uh, you will not be able to get a fate hero unit. That's what I was thinking in my mind, because like that's how the premium summer banner was going on. But I didn't know that like we can still get a fate hero unit even after a legendary hero has shown up so far. And this might still be a fate hero. <gasps> Come on! Oh my god, holy crap! I was really getting excited. But anyways, I would really love to get Sernando. Oh yeah, alright. I would really love to transcend her. She is one of the really great unit at the four star net category. She can really deal some very really good amount of damage. I really do love her, guys. Yao is very worth it. Very, very, very worth it. Well, I got a one faded hero unit. I'm really happy about that one. Really, really happy about that one. Why can't I actually do one more recruit, guys? One more multi. One more multi for you guys. All right, let's do it. Oh, <laughs> man. <sighs> now I need to wait. I need to wait. This is so sad. This is really sad. I don't know what to do about this one. I really need to improve my RAM, guys. I really need to improve my RAM. Okay, anyways, can I just skip it so that, like, I can save you time, guys? Okay, just move it. Move aside. Move aside. You are supposed to move aside. Yes, you did it. Fate, please. Fate, fate. Fa <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, for sure. Oh, my God. Oh, the crap. Oh, man. Are you freaking kidding me? Ah, oh, Ah, I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. Oh my god, FC Anastasia is mine. Holy crap. Okay, this is great. This is great. I like it. I love it. Wow. Oh man. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. I didn't even expect this one. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. You know, the second multi is one of my best multi in this entire game. Because, like, in the second multi, I got my FC battery for two times in a row, guys. Two times. And in the second multi, I got my another fate. I mean, like, fate core hero unit. That's going to be FC Anastasia. She is damn pretty amazing. Her battery is too amazing, guys. Just look into this one. Her passive is insane! Her passive is insane and her second skill that's going to deal like 525% of damage to one enemy is illegal, okay? It's too damn freaking amazing. It can really deal some heavy damage, guys. Heavy, heavy damage. Wow, I got faded Anastasia, guys. Like, what the hell? Oh, man. 
I'm so happy. All right. All right. I still have one more chance to get this faded hero unit. If I just get one fate hero unit, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can make it possible. Come on. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Ah. I feel so good. 0.7% chance. Literally 0.7% chance. Can you believe it? Move aside, brother. Move aside. Come on. Come on. Ah, shit. Ah, man. Ah, all right. Anyways, anyways, I got my faded hero unit. Okay, Ledger. Okay. If you guys are pretty much asking me if Ledger is a really good healing unit or not, I would say definitely hell yes. He's one of the fastest revivers in the entire game. Why? Just look into your first skill. It only re requires three mana. Three mana, guys. Only three mana, and she can revive all dead uh, dead allies, and it's going to be really, 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 really helpful, especially in the PvP content. So, if you're asking me if Ledger is really good or not, I would say like definitely hell yeah, she is gonna be one of the really amazing healer out there in the legendary category. With her first skill and as well as her second skill, she is going to heal all allies and also uh you know like cleanse all those debuffs okay and that's gonna be so cool indeed i like ledger she is definitely cool to have around really one of the best healer out there especially in the legendary category i love her i love her guys her her revive skill is way too faster than the other unit out there so that's the ledger for you guys oh man shit all right all right <laughs> <laughs> Let's get up PD7, okay? Anyways, it's gonna go back into the banner, so we can go back. Let's get this PD summon, guys. Let's get this PD summon. Receive! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Oh, I got some solar seal right over here. Alright, that's great. <laughs> Man, can I do some solar seal summon? But, anyways, I'm really happy to get my FC Anastasia today. I've been really talking uh, uh, about her a lot lately, that she is so damn badass, she's so damn amazing, uh, that it would be really good to have her around. Oh my god, I cannot really do some real, you know, like this Exodium Summon. Wow, it actually requires 300. I still have 18 lacking. Okay, anyways, whatever that is, I'm really happy today. Really, really happy today. Okay, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents on my channel. See you guys in the next video.